hey guys it's Saturday morning here in Michigan we have a beautiful morning here starting I took the dog out and it's warm out so I get I get that when it starts warming up I like get this I want to get stuff done so I can get outside and enjoy the day so anyways it's time for uh, here on YouTube I just did a live Instagram video about the same thing we're gonna talk about today we're doing tea talk with me tea and today it is uh, the Yogi brand tea typically and I love these little sayings lift people up to their potential and higher self definitely one of my goals I love these little sayings the next one here says trust the union of intelligence and integrity so there we go and this is the perfect um, energy vanilla and spice and then the uh, chai rooibos those are the two tea bags I chose this morning with my beautiful cup I actually used to have an orange cup a cup with an orange flower because orange is my favorite color of all time and I broke two of them so and this is my blue one so we're going to talk about my five-day uh, nutrient fast um, that I'm going to start next Wednesday. I'm going to show you some of the product here. It's all in front of me. And we're going to talk about it a little bit of what I'm going to take in during those five days. So we're always taking in purified water. So what this is going to look like is I'm going to still use a fasting window and a feasting window. So my feasting window is where I'm gonna take in these items, the green powders and things like that. And then the fasting window will still be purified water. Maybe with a little sea salt to make sure my electrolytes don't go too low. Um, Mountain Valley is a great company for spring water. I also get filtered purified water. This is sometimes what I call um, um, Gucci water because it's a little more expensive but totally worth it you can really taste the minerals in here so if you have trouble with cramping and things like that you need to make sure you're getting your calcium your potassium and your magnesium so if you're cramping or your legs are twitching or you have restless legs that usually means you're mineral deficient okay so always water will be number one in this um, this fast slash cleanse and during the feasting times I will incorporate green powders that I have in the house so the first one I'm going to start with is this immunity blend. You'll see a couple amazing grasses blend. Why? Because, well, they're amazing. So if you've never tried green powder, this is, I usually recommend this for people to start out because they have different flavors and different properties. Like this one is a uh, uh, vitamin. It's an immune boosting. This is tangerine. So if you like orangey stuff flavored, this is great this time of year where everyone's getting these colds and these flus and these sicknesses. Um, all their powders are, are, are organic, of course. They're raw, plant-based, vegan, non-GMO, the whole label shebang. So this one's your tangerine flavor. Again, up there with one of my favorites during this time of year. And let's see here. This next one is the uh, pineapple and lemongrass. Again, another great blend. Um, each and, and each one of these have a different little special blend that separates them from each one not just the flavor but like the um the, the the boosting properties or the nutrient properties okay so this is the pineapple lemongrass and this one has a high potency of vitamin c d e and 12. so this is like your uh, uh multivitamin in green powder so like i don't take a multivitamin i don't need to i use my green powders in the nutrition in my food for that and again, <clears throat> I'll read off the label off of a couple of them, but right now, again, I got this one on sale at the organic market, which is down the road. Uh, the uh, I always try to support, you can always get this just about anywhere. You can get this um, online or at your, a lot of the large um, box stores are carrying it now, but I still like to support my local markets to keep them in business and keep them around. And uh, sometimes they have some of these that go on sale like super cheap so I get them when I can I snatch them up and then I always keep them in the fridge so this might be short dated but it doesn't mean it's bad okay if you know anything about expiration dates and things like that it doesn't mean it's going bad I always keep it in a cool dark place which is usually my refrigerator and then I use them as I go again this one's pineapple lemongrass not my favorite but it's it's doable so this is going to go in each day so each day I might do a different powder 
just to change it up. All right, my all time favorite, and this is just because I'm a watermelon girl, I love watermelons, and that became a little bit of a problem because of the, even though it's super high water, and I always buy seeded watermelons because you always wanna buy your fruits um, with seed, you don't wanna get seedless. Um, it's still highly hybridized, and when you get the watermelon, it should be one of those nice big ones. And I've done tons of watermelon cleanses slash fasts, four to five days long, using uh, whole watermelons, uh, fresh lemon or lime juice, and sea salt. And I've done multiple, at least one of those, every summer when they're in season for the last five or six years. <clears throat> I, 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 that's what I've done, period. And I'll go through when I'm in the watermelon season. I don't know about this season because I've been doing high fat, low, low carb. But typically, I always go through five to seven of those large, large watermelons. And, and my son also loves a lot of watermelon as well as my daughter. So anyways, this is their, their watermelon blend. And I, I'm going to talk about this one just because it's my favorite. So this is, you, you see this says energy on here. <clears throat> now, they have two energy blends along with other flavors. Um, but the energy blend here, and they also have a lemon lime blend, which is a really good one as well. So I'm gonna read this one again, always gluten-free, no sugar added, plant-based, non-GMO, organic, vegan, raw. <coughs> Excuse me, a little frog in my throat. Let me take a drink of my tea since we're talking. So what this one looks like, and a lot of them, like I said, are very similar in the blends, but there's always just those special nuances that each blend has. So the calories are always between 20 and 25 calories. Um, the fiber is two, the carbohydrate is two. Sugars are less than one, uh, less than, let's see, two grams of protein. You have your vitamin A, C, K, calcium, iron, sodium, potassium. So again, multivitamin in your green powders because you're getting them in, in their raw state, ground up. The Amazing Grass's food blend for this one is wheatgrass powder, barley grass, alfalfa, spinach, spirulina, corella, and broccoli. The energy blend for this one is the matcha, which I will show you what my matcha and my yerba mate is still in the kitchen, and then yerba mate. So those are very good for energy boosting, brain boosting, and cognitive function for getting you going versus like your highly stimulating coffee situation that can be very damaging to your adrenal glands if you're not careful. Um, the Amazing Grass's antioxidant blend are rose hips, pineapple, organic carrot, uh, let's see here, cherry extract, green tea, maca, which I talked about maca before, acai berry, beet juice, and raspberry. The fiber blend is flaxseed and apple pectin, and then you have your digestive enzymes, active cultured, pre and probiotic. You need your pre and your probiotic. <clears throat> so all the labels for these flavors pretty much look the same, except for you know some of these blends might be a little bit different and their purpose. So watermelon, if you like watermelon people, check this stuff out, it's amazing. No pun intended, but yeah, the really good, really good company. And they have, they also offer just your pure green powders, which I'll show you just a pure green powder. Um, and they have proteins and things like that. So just a really good company. Read your labels. Although I did come across, they are selling now these little tablets apparently. And I was reading the ingredients and it had dextrose in it and you want to stay away from dextrose, but I'm wondering if the reason it's in tablet form, that's why that dextrose is in there. So stay away from that. Do the whole food green powder. So I'll make my little pile over here. I'll take another drink. Sun is starting to come in. I can see it on my face. I'm gonna finish this. I'm going to do my 108 day yoga program, which I might talk about a little bit too because that kind of coincides with why I'm doing this five day cleanse. All right, the next powder that I always add into <clears throat> my green drink that I break my fast with every day is this Garden of Life Sport Energy and Focus pre-workout. Now, I don't use this as a pre-workout anymore. I did when I started using it, but when I started to extend my fast, I didn't want this to break my fast. This will break your fast. Anything with five calories or more, technically they say will break your fast. So people that do branch chain amino acids breaks your fast. Some people, uh, lemon juice or even just coconut vinegar or apple cider vinegar may break your fast. 
So I always do this in my feasting window. This is when this is part of the mix that I add in to break my fast. So this goes in the green powder, MCT oil, oops, and the coconut vinegar. Always goes into my break fast green drink, um, which I have pretty much on a daily basis. So again, this will not take place till after my yoga. I have loads of energy. My blood sugar was 73 this morning, optimal number. My body's being fueled for fat and the longer I go in the morning, and again, it'll probably be 18 or 20 hours by the time I break my fast today. So again, this is really good to incorporate. Again, if you're addicted to energy energy drinks like those monsters or those five hour, hour energy, energy drinks like I was um, six, seven years ago, which I believe was poisoning my body, um, and that's when my hip injury took place, and maybe one day I'll talk about that a little bit more in depth. Um, this is a great product to get you off of that. Okay, it's another option besides herbal teas and coffee. Now the ingredients in here again is your, you've got your 85 milligrams of organic caffeine, organic NO, what's NO? It's an NO booster. So it's those things like beets and berries and those, those red darky dark vegetables or fruits that allow more oxygen into the blood. So that's why they're calling this a pre-workout. It helps that burst of energy, that oxygen flow, um, which is really good. And then this has your B12 in it as well. So again, a lot of us are B12 deficient. There's B12 in all these green drinks. So I'm definitely not, if I were to take a blood test and was deficient in B12, I'd be like, what? <laughs> that, mean I, that might mean I'm not absorbing all the B12 that I'm getting from all my green powders. And then you have, so the coffee blend, the, the um, caffeine blend is coming from your coffee fruit berry extract. So check that out, it's pretty cool. It's like the actual berry that's around the coffee bean. And I guess it took, the research I did on that, it took many, many years to, to get this into product because it's so delicate. And I, I think uh, some of the research was telling me too, like your, your people that, uh, indigenous people that were harvesting coffee would actually eat the berry off of the bean and that's where they would get their energy source. It's pretty cool. So if you don't know anything about coffee berry, take a look at it. Pretty cool. I got my, can you see it here? Let me show you. My diffuser. My changes colors, it's blowing on me. So I have a little blend, just kind of getting it going this morning. I'm still in my PJs. So we're talking green food, nutrient cleanse. So another green powder here that I will be using in my cleanse and that I use daily. Again, I got this on sale. This is not a product I normally use. The reason I picked this up is because it was on sale and super cheap. So I got like four or five bags um, for the price of like one of these containers. Again, I got this, you know, some of these I get on sale too. So in this one, so again, it's short dated or expired. So I just keep it in the fridge. No big deal. I'm not going to make me sick. So this one has your spirulina, wheatgrass powder, alfalfa grass powder, uh, corella, cinnamon, and that's it. This is basically more of a green powder versus like the other ones that have a little bit of flavor. All right, what I also consider as green food or will go into my fast is my matcha green tea. I've talked about this many times, guys. Organic, high quality, whole leaf powder. Um, make sure you're getting it from a high quality source. This will go in, um, I, I do this in my lattes, or my green powder drinks. Um, this is a great energy boost versus like, I'm not a huge fan of just like the green tea I don't know, it just doesn't, it's very acidic. So I find this to be a lot better. And you, if you look up matcha, M-A-T-C-H-A, you'll see sometimes like it's used in uh, the Japanese culture for ceremonies, but it's really good and you, you have a special wisp if you're making it. I just put it in like a glass bottle with hot water and I have like a little cozy on it and I shake it up. Or it just goes into like my blender. Matcha green tea, whole leaf green nutrient powder that will go in there. Sometimes I try these little samples. If I can get sample packets for products, I will try them out. So this was laying around, so this will go in my uh, nutrient fast next week. This is your basically organic moringa leaf. Now there's many properties to the moringa plant. Um, Google it. There's plenty of information out there. I can't think of any right off at the top of my head except for it's green and it's in powder form and I can get the nutrients out of this. Okay. 
high vitamin A, calcium, iron, and people are saying I'm, I'm, I'm not iron deficiency. A lot of the women in my family have iron problems, but I think that's just because of their nutrition. And if you have to take an iron pill, it's not cool. It can constipate you, and it's just not good. Eat your green stuff, drink your green stuff, people. You won't have an iron deficiency, okay? And some people say, well, it sucks, it's gross, it's take, you." You know, it's like, just shoot it. I mean, people do alcohol shooters all the effing time. Shoot your green powder, chase it with some water, or chase it with some tea, please. Suck it up, quit being babies. It's really good for you. Because <clears throat> if you can't eat it, if, you don't, if you're not willing to sit and eat a big salad, or eat broccoli, or eat spinach, drink your, <laughs> drink it, guys. Simple as that. Okay, we make things more, more difficult than they need to be. <clears throat> oh, it looks like this video is going on. I'm talking. I try to keep them short, but they've been like 15 to a half hour. So the next powder I'm going to show you is my blend of Corella and Spirulina. Again, all these powder, some, you know, this stuff's also in my blend, but this just boosts it more. These are great for detoxifying, pulling heavy metals out of the system. There's also a uh, high protein content in these. These are algaes. Again, organic sourced you need to make sure that you're, the, the, these people are not harvesting or growing it in some place toxic okay now these came in a tablet form and what i did is basically i found myself not taking the tablets so i was being inconsistent so i ground it in the coffee grinder and now it just goes in the green drink or i sometimes i sprinkle it on my salads which gives a little bit of that seafoody taste again loaded with tons of nutrients and greens this is liam's little spoon all right one more green powder and then I'll kind of show you some of the other items that I will go into my nutrient fast next week. So this was a sample, very big sample. <laughs> Again, where I get a lot of my products and I send a lot of my clients to friends or family in the, at the organic market. She's considering about um, bringing in some new product and she said, hey, she knows I'm honest, I'm straight, I'm blunt. I come in and I shop and sometimes I even help her customers with things that she might be unfamiliar with. It's just the nature of the beast here. If I, if I see somebody and they're struggling and they might have information and I have some information, I'm willing to share that information. I'm not afraid to go up to people. I, I'm, I'm very well versed in having that conversation with people and it's great and you can meet new people doing that. So Pure Planet here, check their product out again. When she gave me the sample, I'm like, sure, I'll check it out. And I Googled, again, another good product that you can get. Um, this is the Best of Greens. Again, organic, raw, plant-based, pure food. And in this one, we're looking at your, these are just basically just a green powder. There's no frou-frou to this one. You've got your barley grass powder, your wheat grass powder, oat grass powder, alfalfa leaf, juice powder, which the juice powder is a little more potent than just the grass as it's self ground up. You have cabbage, parsley, kale, broccoli, dandelion. The algae blend again is that Corella and spirulina, which you'll find in a lot of these superfood powders. Your sea vegetables, which is your kelp and dulse, which you get your iodine and iron from. So this stuff looks like it's the bomb, is the bomb. Again, this is uh, also goes into that green drink I drink every day to break my fast. Okay, I'm running out, so I may have to get some more. So I use a range of stuff. This is where I invest my money. So my extra money that I make, it doesn't go to buy new clothes or things like that. I invest in health, stuff that I can incorporate in my, my eating, um, oh, new, my, I can't talk this morning. I put my money back into my health for myself and my son, whether that's green food powders, uh, raw vegan plant food powders, essential oils, um, teas, things like that. So I'm going to take another drink. All right. So. You've sh I've shared this many times before, but also in my nutrient fast, am I going to say a green food fast or a green powder fast? Because I want to incorporate some other um, nutrients, which will include uh, my, my medicinal mushrooms because they're antioxidant boosting, detoxifying, etc. cetera. Um, just myself here. And um, we're going to talk about the wild mushroom blend again. Why? Because this company is amazing. I think I'll probably start getting maybe my MCT oil and my matcha green tea from these guys. They also have like cacao powder, cacao nibs, very reasonably priced. Again, another small company that wanted to bring ethical food 
to the consumers. Um, a lot of these small companies start out because we, we start to seek out quality and some of these people start end up starting their own businesses, which is amazing. Um, people joke with me all the time that I need to be doing something like that. Maybe that will happen for me. Maybe that's in my, uh, in, in my cards in the future. But right now I just talk about these companies. Again, I'm not affiliated with these companies. I just like to share their products. So this is that wild mushroom blend that will go into my nutrient fast next week. We're also going to incorporate um, the herbal teas that I shared in one of my tea videos, my Tulsi teas, uh, original Tulsi, I think there's a rose of Tulsi, I will do like my chamomile, my herbal nightly teas for the sleeping, I'll keep doing my yogi teas in the morning and during the day. Um, I don't do black tea or green tea like I said, usually if I do black tea it's usually during the summer and it's like a Ceylon black tea for like your iced tea. What else? Um, yeah, so just whatever teas I have floating around will go into my um, feasting and fasting window. And sometimes I just steep the tea and then I'll use it in sometimes my green drink as well. So this, this new tea I picked up is called Astragalus Root. Again, another adaptogenic. I love these Buddha teas. I can only find them at a, a discount health store in Saginaw. I can't find anything here in Midland, but I love them because their boxes are amazing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not huge on like, what's the word I wanna say? Advertising and marketing, but these guys just make things very colorful, very pretty. The boxes are just, they're just so amazing. So basically, what I said, did, these are teas, and this is basically the astragalus root um, Google your information on what astragalus is really good for, um, energy, immune boosting, fighting disease, yada, yada, yada. It's, again, it's an adaptogenic tonic herb, uh, which means it adapts. You can use these tonic herbs daily. So basically, I tear the bag open and I put it in the coffee grinder. Again, another great tool. And then I just grind it up into a powder. Now, I won't steep these. I have steeped the tea before, but I feel it's a, a little bit of a waste with the root. I like to use the whole plant if I can. And sometimes steeping or tincturing things, you might get more benefit out of it. You might get, um, there's different properties that take place when you tincture or steep things. So that's the astragalus root that will go into the, the nutrient fast. The ashwagandha here. Again, I've been on ashwagandha for um, a long time now. I used to buy it in tablets and then I found the Buddha tea, which is again the bag tea and I just tear the tea bag open for cost wise and then just grind it up. Because when I bought the tablets, I would just always break the tablet open and then put it in my water or my drinks or my blends or whatever. So I just said, for a better cost, I can just take this, tear it open, throw it in the coffee grinder and grind it up. So I, that's what I get with the, the, uh, the ashwagandha, again, an adaptogenic for um, stress or healing. It's an Ayurvedic. So look into your Ayurvedic herbs, okay? And so basically I take that and I grind it up. This is the old bottle that when I did buy them in tablet form, Organic India is a good brand. Again, you always wanna get everything organic. And then I just powder that up. And that, that between this and the astragalus, astragalus is new to me, but um, those two always go into my break fast green powder drink. So anyways, that's just a little chit chat this morning about the items that I will be partaking in. Again, these are always in my daily regimen at some point, but because I'm doing a five day nutrient fast next week, starting on Wednesday, Wednesday to Sunday, and it might extend even a little longer because when you go on an extended fast, you have to be very careful on how you break your fast before you start incorporating solid food again. So the fast is a five day, and then it'll slowly go into more solid food within a couple days. So um, to, in a segue to talk about why I'm doing this, I'm going to grab my, my DVD program and I'm going to talk about that real quick for a couple minutes and um, then we'll close it out. So let me grab that real quick. Okay. I try to be as prepared as possible. Um, I Like I said, I did my Instagram live video in the kitchen this morning and now I like to sit down on my living room floor and kind of just stretch my legs out. So anyways, the reason I'm doing these five day 
um, cleanses. I'm, like I said, there's going to be three of them. And I'm going to share videos and things on like that. A couple years ago, I got my hands on this. It's the Ultimate Yogi Program with Travis Elliott. Now, him and his wife also have, um, if you look him up, he also has videos in a page where you can stream videos, yoga videos, anywhere from 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and on. He does have a couple videos posted on YouTube, but most of it you have to purchase. Uh, the streaming program, I think, is like $9.99 a month, and I may, I may partake in that one of these days. They just came out with a 30-minute uh, program as well that's streaming. I wish it was physical media. I really like my physical media. Not that there's anything wrong with streaming stuff, but I, I really enjoy this program. So like I said, I did this program a couple years ago, 108 days, every day you do yoga, okay? And just like most programs, when you do exercise programs, I've done a couple beach body programs. Every, everything comes with, you know, like your little calendars and usually a nutritional guide. And sometimes those nutritional guides are good guides for people, but sometimes they're not because everyone's different and you just kind of find out what works for you. And like I said, it, when I got this, I was already plant-based and vegan. And um, so I don't, if you look like at my, my, my nutritional guides and my calendars, I like to keep them. I don't like to write on them. I use my regular calendar to say, okay, today we're doing detox or today we're doing yin. So this is your little calendar that comes with it. Again, look these up. I'm pretty sure the stuff's still, still for sale. So the 108 day in Excel, will start date on there. So. All right. Woo, we're ripping a little bit. I'm gonna rip this. So this is your calendar. And like I said, I just write everything down on my personal calendar to tell me what day I'm on. Um, I don't like to hang things up. I like to keep them a little fresh. Now on the back here, um, you, you know, of course it always tells you what you need to do programs. You want to do a before shot. You want to do your measurements and things like that. Um, you want to clear space. You know, make time for yourself to do this. Uh, meditation and affirmations. There's a community, and that community is probably still going because this program's still out there for sale. So the cleanses, like I said, are every 36 days in the program. When they pick the DVDs for the yoga, they're gentle because when anytime you want to cleanse or detox, you want to rest, and that's what I I want to make sure I don't forget to talk about. The reason I'm starting it on a Wednesday is because the little guy by the weekend he will be with his dad. So if by day three I'm feeling a little sluggish or down and I need to just chill out and do absolutely nothing, I can do that. I can just, it's been very hard for me to cleanse and detox because I have to be on point and uh, I have to be a mom and I have to be energetic. And sometimes when you cleanse and detox, you will have symptoms come up. You sometimes may get tired. So I haven't been able to do a uh, true um, cleanse and fast so that's what my goal is and I figured if I can start it on a Wednesday day one and two won't be too bad and by the weekend if I need to rest I can rest so for this program you've got the first one is going vegan for three days these are three days and like I said I wanted to up my game so I'm extending mine for five days the next cleanse is a raw food detox which means you eat nothing but raw food for three days which believe me people it's not as difficult as you may make it out to be you eat raw food for three days please. I mean the green powders, that's considered raw food if it says raw on there. And then the last one is a juice feast. Now they don't say fast because you don't want to limit your juices, but you do want to limit the fruit you put in your juices. So I've done, when I did this program the first time, I was already vegan. Uh, I had already in the past done a raw food detox and juices. So this was really simple for me the first round. So that's why I'm up 